Hi guys, welcome back to TSM Adventures. So today we've got our shovels, we've got our snowshoes on and we are up in uh, Arvitsjau. Arvitsjau, yeah. Today we're gonna build us a shelter, we're gonna make a camp and uh, yeah, we're gonna relax by the camp, by the beautiful sunshine, those four hours the sun is up and that's basically it. Sounds awesome. Yes. So uh, yeah, let's start digging. Let's start! Well done. Nice. We're gonna start the fire right behind me here on this little hill. Uh, this way, the fire gets a lot of air to it, will, uh, which it has to have now winter time. This will make it so much easier to build it. We also have one air channel that way, and one the other way, so the air comes in from both sides and really get this fire going. Old man's beard. This will save.
So if anyone was ever wondering, how do you, in winter, build a toilet for women? Because we don't want to just stand and pee anywhere. This is an example. Mm. Inspired by a lot of toilets you might have seen in Asia, for example. They have two sides. Like this. And then you can just sort of squat down, dig out a hole in the middle. My toilet paper here. Perfect. That's really nice. So, toilet. Good work. Now you can turn the camera off because I need to use it. Oh, okay. So, if you have a look down here, for somebody like me, who's very cold all the time, um, this is something that you can use. There are uh, chemical equivalents of this. This is more of a, an old school, nature friendly version. And it's a, it's a hand warmer. So what it is, is a little metal container like this. And a stick of coal. Like this. So what you do is you light the coal, put it into the container, you light it at one end, and then close the container and it'll stay warm for a few hours. Uh, very, very effective. And what you can do is light it at both ends. That'll obviously be double as warm, but uh, over twice as fast. So, and I'll just light this. Actually smells good. <laughs> like a cigarette from Mordor. <laughs> There we go, that's that going. Just gonna put that in there, close it up. And that'll warm up nicely. Keep my hands all nice and warm. Yeah, you can actually put this into your sleeping bag. Keep it nice and warm before you go to bed to keep your feet all nice and cozy. It's perfect for someone like me, who's always cold. Sounds awesome. Really cozy, and one over there. A bit Christmassy. Yeah. And here's Emma drying her feet yeah. and socks. Well, I have put the marinade for the beef into the murica and heated it up. Um, now I'm going to put the meat in. Mm. And put it back on. Oh, delicious. Pre-marinated beef. With seasoning. And this is going to be great. And what more? So we've got some... Uh, Chopped boiled potatoes that we're going to fry up, seasoned, and uh, some bayonet sauce. Mm. And I've got a vegetarian beef because, well, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at that. Mm. Perfect. And turn these. <laughs> even a sound. <laughs> no, there's no oil in it. That'll take a while, so I suggest we eat some potatoes and stuff in the meantime. Well, you can have your meal and I'll eat some potatoes while I'm waiting for that. Okay? Sounds good. Let's eat.
think this is warm enough now. Yes. Oh, I just got the middle bit. Like some whiskey. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh. That's for a job well done. What are you doing now? Now, I am putting a hairband on the end of the sleeping bag. The sleeping bag is made for somebody that's about two meters long, tall, which I am not. So, in order to uh, for the entire sleeping bag to be warm, you have to fill the entire sleeping bag, which means that if I'm only sleeping at the top half, my feet are cold because there's a lot of air that's not getting heated up. Now, I can solve that by just putting, what I'm doing is putting a hairband round the bottom part and sealing it off, making the sleeping bag shorter than it actually is. So that's what I'm doing. So? So, now it's ready, we're ready for sleep and uh, gone all ready in my uh, sleeping bag and prepared myself for a much colder night than it actually is, but you can never be too warm. So I've got my it's a bottle filled with uh, warm water and I've also got these uh, heat things that I showed you earlier. Um, so I've got one down by my feet, one basically between my knees and uh, the warm water bottle up by my chest. That keeps you really, really nice and cozy warm. And that uh, these will stay warm for hours. So that'll put me off into a nice deep sleep. Nice. Yeah. Good night. Good night. And uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Oh, did you sleep? Oh, I slept well. Yeah. How did you sleep? Very well, indeed. Mm, what time is it? Quarter past nine in the morning, oh. and the sun is about to go up. Yeah, you see that the sky is going pink. Yes. Mm. Mm. So. So why did we choose this tree? Well, the wind was coming from that direction and that direction during the night or when we came here. So we wanted the entrance this way. And the tree is dead in the top and one fur down. It's really sturdy still, but uh, yeah, to do as minimal damage on the forest. We took uh, away a lot of branches inside. But about uh, yeah, 50% or so were already dead. So this was a good tree to, to choose. And it was the right direction. Great. And, and? And it means we can sit here, protected from the wind because of the shelter, and enjoy the view. And that's also very true. 
Awesome. And this was the last for this video. And what are we do, going to do now, Emma? Pack up. Pack up. Then walk. Walk back to the car. Yeah. Nice. Let's do that. So peaceful. Yes.